Hi guys, it's Rebecca. Well, today is my four week anniversary of my surgery and I went into the doctor and they said I'm doing great. Um, I'm down one more pound. I, like I said, I thought it would be more, but she said, you know, in five and a half, six weeks, you've lost 33 pounds. So that's quite a bit. You're ahead of schedule. So I'm, I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to keep hanging in there and doing what I'm doing. Um, I'm a little excited now because now I can officially eat. I'm off the soft foods. I can pretty much eat um, most meats. Um, so that I can eat chicken and, and turkey and tuna. And, though I was surprised she said ham because most of the paperwork I have said the ham needed to wait a couple more months. But hey, I'm, not, I'm not a big ham fan anyway. So, um, But it, it'll be good to get some more I can get protein through food instead of the uh, fun uh, protein drinks. I'll continue to have one a day, I think, but uh, that helps with my liquids because I have a hard time getting my 64 ounces in. I don't understand why because before the surgery, gosh, I was drinking a half a gallon plus a day. And now I can just barely get in my 64 ounces. I'm doing really good to get my protein in um, despite not being able to eat a whole lot of foods, but going to start to change. I'm excited. Um, not a whole lot else is going on. Um, I need to really work on getting more exercise in because um, I'm kind of being lazy. Um, I, I just haven't gotten to the gym and such like I like or, or even done my game or walking like I wanted to. So I really need to uh, maybe up that. Maybe that will help kickstart my weight loss again. Um, I'm doing really good taking my vitamins. Uh, I can't remember if I told everybody about what vitamins I take, but I take a bariatric multivitamin twice a day, one in the morning and one in the evening. I take biotin so that I hopefully won't lose as much hair. <laughs> um, I take an iron pill in the evening. I take um, calcium citrate twice a day, or I'm sorry, two calcium citrates in the middle of the day because you can't take them at the same time as your iron. Um, I also take, um, I think that's it. I still have to take the Prevacid um, until my prescription runs out and then there I have to take uh, Prilosec apparently and for six months. So that's something I didn't know, but that's something I have to do. Um, I guess while I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and do a full body shot so you can see the progress. Um, last one was right before the surgery, so um, here we go. I'm going to back up a little bit and that way you can see the whole body. It's, I'm getting there. I have a ways to go yet, but I'm excited about the 33 pounds. Anyway, so that's what's going on now. Um, I finally uh, spoke with my um, nanny people and let them know that I wasn't coming back and that I'd gotten another job. And I was actually very surprised that they were very supportive. Um, they got a phone call from the new job and, um, you know, for a reference, and I was surprised they called them, but they did. and. They gave me a glowing review, they said, and I'm very grateful because uh, I'm excited to start the new job and we'll see what happens. Um, maybe that'll help kick some of this uh, blues that I've had the last few weeks from being so isolated. So um, I'm waiting to hear from a few of you that have had surgery at the same time as I have. I um, haven't heard any new videos from you guys in a while, so um, don't make me worry, okay? <laughs> Uh, post post one as soon as you can. Um, anybody has any questions about what's going on or um, anything in general? Feel free to email me. I'm I'm open to making new new friends and answering any questions that I can. I mean I'm only four weeks out, but I know there's a lot of people that are new to this. All right, guys. Well, I'm gonna get ready to head to bed. It's getting late. Um, I will update again soon. God bless, guys. Hugs and prayers.